all right what's going on guys it is your boy tkd123 here back in your blazing source and of course upcoming here on april 10th it will be the one year anniversary of ff7 remake i love the game you all know it very well and of course we have integrate coming out later on this summer in june and i do want to talk about some things that came out a few weeks back that i never got to talk about here on the channel those being the concept of dlc in ff7 remake and if there will be more dlc besides the ufi dlc that we're getting with integrate as well as this new character named Sonnen where of course he is with Yuffie in those chapters and specifically how much or how little they will utilize Sonnen in terms of gameplay overall so let's get right into it guys so this comes to us from an interview that was on Famitsu that was with Tetsuya Nomura who is the director of FS7 Remake and uh, it was broken down and more detailed by the RPG site as well so I'll link that article in the description but they go into some really cool things involving DLC and Sonnen as a whole so starting off here, Sonnen is not playable in FF7 Remake with the Yuffie DLC in Integrate. So they say here that of course we already know before that Sonnen Kosakabe, who is essentially Yuffie's bodyguard in Integrate, as he was assigned to work for her after he trained with Yuffie's father in Wutai. And so we talk a lot about this in a recent upload. I'll link it over here in a YouTube card to check out if you guys missed that video. But I think it's really cool that we have this dynamic where Yuffie is the younger of the two seemingly and Sonnen is following her lead, Yuffie's calling the shots, it very much just calls back to Yuffie's personality in the original game, so I love that, but they even go in depth with explaining that since Sonnen works with Avalanche in Integrate, they opted for a military style appearance, even though it wasn't always the plan for him overall. Head honcho big homie Tetsuya Demora says this about that whole thing, he says quote, originally he was designed with finer features for a softer pretty boy look. But I thought that him being paired with Yuffie would add a new dynamic that differed from what you got with Cloud or Vincent. So I changed him to the more masculine character you see now. So it definitely makes sense because like, uh, you know, like, like like Vincent and Cloud have a kind of a similar type of aesthetic vibe going on here. But it is cool that, you know, given to account his military background, they went into this decision to, you know, have a more militaristic look to him overall. And he looks more clean cut looks more masculine definitely really cool to see that they are trying to differentiate his look from what we have already with ff7 but the military look also went into the decision to change his fighting style to be different as well so yuffie is more of a ninja like combat we've seen that in the gameplay uh but for sonnen it utilizes martial arts and he has that sweet quarter staff as well so we're definitely going to see a lot of cool moves from that whole standpoint of him being more of a you know hand-to-hand -hand combat more of a brute force as opposed to the ninja like movements of Yuffie. Now going back to that quarter staff since he wields that dope looking Wu-Tai quarter staff like we said before I kind of thought that he would be playable in a way because you know I figured that he would be kind of still a melee focused type of character as as you know Yuffie is definitely melee focused but I figured that Sonnen would be someone that had a little bit of reach with that quarter staff and at least give a little variety to the gameplay because you know in the majority of FF7 Remake you have your party you have a bunch of different you know characters that you can switch to you have uh you know Aerith and her magic abilities you have uh you know Tifa and her up close brawler type of type of mentality so I figured that they would do a similar thing with Sonnen and Yuffie but that is not the case in Yuffie's chapters he will be unplayable and uh, that will that will remain unplayable for now at least who knows what happens in the future with the sequels but at least in Intergrade he will not be playable and will act automatically for the most part the interview even revealed that Sonnen Sometimes opportunities will arise to do a combo attack with Yuffie. He says here, quote, You can choose between two different control modes, one where Sonnen acts independently and one where he follows Yuffie's commands to act in unison with what she is doing. That's what Namor said, and which is done by pressing L2. Now, in case you guys didn't know, I just beat Final Fantasy 15 like last week, right? So I automatically thought of the link strikes in that game where you could, you know, call Prompto to do that really cool one shot with his pistol. You can call Gladio to do this like you know twister type of sword type deal and you can have a bunch of different link strikes uh in that game and so I'm thinking that maybe that's what they are working on here with FF7 which I think makes a lot of sense because if they fold this feature into the you know sequel of FF7 remake well we can probably have a you know team up link strike with uh you know Cloud and Barrett or Cloud and Tifa or whatever or Cloud and Vincent or whatever you know what I'm saying so I think it could be really cool to see these uh uh, 
uh, link strikes really make it into the overall game. But I do hope that if they do do this type of dynamic in the combo attacks with Intergrade and with the sequel of FF7 Remake as well, I hope that it's at least in a better fashion and more clean and less finicky and like glitchy like it was in FF15, I felt like. So hopefully that's all smoothed out. But uh, I definitely want to see some combo attacks in the future of FF7 Remake. There's also some miscellaneous things that was brought to light in this interview where Nomura also took time to say that some spoiler moments were blocked from streaming when the game first came out back last year in April where there was some, you know, just certain cutscenes that they didn't want streamers to be streaming and uh, that whole thing to be spoiled. But since then, those will be removed with Intergrade and you can stream the whole thing with no restrictions uh, on the game while streaming. So that's cool right there. And lastly here, of course, Yuffie being a Materia Hunter, we can also expect to see new Materia and new summons as well. So I'm really interested to see which new Materia bag to the fold and uh, which summons as well get added to the game as well. I think that's super cool. Delvin cannot wait to see what that ends up being. Although we have the Yuffie DLC on the way for PS5 with Integrate, they do say and do tell us to not expect any more DLC. So the RPG site breaks it down and says that Nomura stated that originally the intent was to create a PlayStation 5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake and not necessarily DLC. However, due to the nature of the upgrade, the Yuffie sections were given the DLC label, which that statement is kind of weird. Like, are they talking about because like PS5 optimized versions of games, like they are essentially new clients? on the PS5's end of things and so they had to label these new sections DLC like is that what they mean is it some sort of like contractual obligation that Sony had with Square that way that you know there maybe like had to be DLC into the game and and this is the way they're doing it I'm not sure why it's worded that way but it is kind of weird that they didn't have DLC planned but we have the Yuffie stuff now like maybe there's another maybe there's another reason let me know down below guys what do you guys think but uh I just think that whole thing is is weird but with all that being said right even though that's all weird Nomura does explain that no more DLC for FF7 remake will be made and the focus will shift to the sequel uh, of FF7R from what he says and I do want to read this last quote from Nomura he says here quote sorting out the development environment on PS5 for integrate meant that moving on to developing the sequel was much smoother we are now prioritizing the roadmap for completing the next game and so if we do need to think about more DLC then it will probably come after that is finished and so I think this is I guess overall a positive because yeah okay there's no more DLC but FS7 Remake is a huge game and it's getting bigger with the Yuffie DLC right on top of that and plus I mean this means that now that they have worked with the PS5 environment with Intergrade we should be able to get those sequels in a quicker fashion at least they'll be able to work more efficiently with that system and it should be able to release in a more timely fashion as opposed to taking you know upwards of four to five years per game on the ps5 right so that's pretty cool right there and like overall man yuffie uh dlc those two chapters could be adding like three to four hours of content to the game so overall what do you guys think are you guys down for there not being more dlc did you want more dlc or are you okay with them just using integrate as a way to get familiar with the ps5 infrastructure and like the whole just software software of the PlayStation 5 and uh, be able to develop those future sequels quicker with Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Let me know your thoughts guys. Are you hyped for it? Do you not like it? Do you wish Sonic was playable? Do you wish there was more DLC coming? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure also while you are down there you can check out our description where you can find links to our Discord, our Twitter, and the Anchor link that way you can listen to a long form content in podcast. So I'm at those of course being the Road to Rift Apart. And now I can say Road to Rift Apart now. Yeah, it's officially announced Road to Rift Apart debuting on friday 10 a.m get hyped for that as well as good old save slot podcast on sunday at 10 a.m as well let the video enjoyed it as well as his subscribe to playstation source to keep up with the latest and greatest in playstation thank you all for watching and as always greatness awaits